For Crema Media in Johannesburg, I'm Halima Frost. Today I'm speaking with Southern African Institute of Welding Executive Director John Tarbiton and Business Development Manager Etienne Nell regarding welding students making use of simulation and virtual training, as well as the online training schools launched by the Institute this year. John, when was the online training school launched in Cape Town and Durban and what is being taught during these lectures? Um, the COVID crisis put an end to all of our training and when the uh, lockdown was eased, it meant that we couldn't do training in Cape Town and Durban. And there was a demand from the students to be allowed to join the Johannesburg uh, training schools. So this we did, we did it via virtual learning into our Cape Town and Durban offices, which has also meant that those students can interact with the, the other students, with the lecturers, and then in those offices, they can use those as an examination center to do invigilative exams. Etienne. Why is there an oversupply of unqualified welders? Also, when training welders, why are there high failure rates? Uh, currently, there is millions of welders in South Africa holding qualifications that is not needed in the industry simply because of the change um, of various materials and, and welding technologies. The high failure rates are mainly attributed to providers not realizing what is actually needed by industry um, today. That was John and Etienne speaking with Crema Media regarding its online offerings from the Institute of Welding.